What you doing over there? Hello? What you, what are you? Cleaning out your beetles. Oh, cleaning out my beetles. Yeah. This is a good, good picture. Mm -hmm. While she's doing that, I want to show you guys how we download weather while we're sailing for free. We are often asked how we get weather at sea, or even just in the remote places that we wind up on Tarka. People are usually surprised by the method that we use, and even more surprised when they find out that we get it for free. So we thought we'd just take a minute and share that method with the rest of the world. We download what are called weather faxes over the radio. These are images broadcast over the SSB bands on regular published schedules by various government organizations. Now that part is pretty widely known to most sailors we've met, but the lesser known aspect is that you don't need an expensive SSB radio or modem. You just need an inexpensive shortwave radio receiver and, well, a computer. So here's how we do it on Tarka. First, we look up the transmission schedule for a broadcast station, and that's generally the nearest one to wherever we happen to be. Second, we use this thing, which is just a shortwave receiver that can receive single sideband, and this one was about $120 new. Using this radio, we can tune to one of the published frequencies until we get a good signal. To the radio, we connect an audio recorder, which we have laying around anyway, because we use it to record the audio voiceovers for these videos. It is also possible to record it directly to a computer. The transmissions themselves sound pretty funky, which actually makes sense because the sound has to record all the information for the image that we're receiving. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes to receive the image, but you don't need to sit around and listen to it. Once the transmission is complete, which is signaled by something that sounds a bit like this, we stop the recording, unless we want to get the next broadcast image as well. We then take the recorded audio into software to process it. We use a free tool called FL Digi, but there are many other options available too. The first time I saw an image being decoded, I thought it was pretty magical. And if all went well, the end result is the forecast image that we expected, broadcast from thousands of miles away, and received without expensive equipment. Well, I mean, if you don't count the computer. But of course, there are a few drawbacks to this method. Most importantly, the signal quality is everything. Without a good signal, the decoded image won't be very helpful. And there were portions here where the signal was weak compared to the noise. And of course, we really don't have data along those lines. Additionally, we can only get weather at a rather large scale, and can't get grip files for our exact location. This is definitely where a satellite device or SSB transmitter shines. Anyway, it's far from being the best method to get weather at sea, but it is within our very limited budget, and well, it works, and that's all that matters to us. I do hope you guys found this interesting, and if you made it all the way to this point in the video, well then, enjoy a sneak peek at our next episode.